Hello everybody, welcome to another video. We are at the track again. We're gonna try to see if we can touch those 13s. Um, tonight is, is, it has a good weather. Uh, the DA is really low. I haven't checked, but it's, it's around a thousand. So the car should run really good. I'm gonna be racing somebody, uh, another Veloster, uh, um, that wanted to to race me. See what happens. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, that that's the goal for tonight. Is touching those 39s. All right. So let's get to the action. So we went to the track last night, uh, it wasn't that bad, but it was not what I was expecting to happen. Uh, in, in terms of uh, how good the passes were, uh, they were really bad <clears throat> because there was no traction at all. I was doing the same thing that I that I always do. Uh, I was launching the car the same way. I had the same uh, uh, tire pressure. Uh, everything. The the how much I was revving the car to launch it. Everything. Everything was the same. But the car had no traction at all i was wasting a lot of time spinning tires at the line so I, I don't know i don't know if it was the the maybe the track prep i mean i don't know it was terrible <clears throat> um i don't think it was because i had too much wheels <laughs> too much wheel horsepower <laughs> i don't think so maybe torque uh was really good last night last night the da was like the lowest was almost a hundred he was really low he was perfect last night to 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 make a a good uh pass and, and have a low et but yeah for, for some reason it didn't work out for me uh in terms of launching the car and having a, a low ET uh, but the car performed really well after it hooked it was pulling really hard and uh, I had two races yesterday one was with the gray uh, Veloster that you saw uh, that was a very well matched race uh, we, we had almost basically the same mods uh the only difference was that she was tuned i'm not i had the the race chips um but basically eh, practically the same thing um uh, and plus i have the the nitrous chiller on the inner cooler so that was the only 
I should say, advantage. It was a very well matched uh, race. Uh, this the first one, I had terrible uh, traction. I had no traction at all at uh, launching the car. Then it hooked up, and she didn't launch well either. The two cars were are automatic. Her car is automatic, my car is automatic, so it was well matched. But she had no traction either. She launched really bad. Not as bad as mine, but yeah. And I beat her by half a second. On the next one, on the second race, that was a, eh, let's say, good race. Uh, I put it on map five. Map five and it was a lot better i went 142 on that race on that race she went 145 so she had a good pass i had a great pass in sort of ways uh my but the thing is this i was hoping to do a 1399 but i didn't do it because of the lunch i was i wasn't able to do that but the mileage on that pass was 99 miles per hour. And if you check on online how much, uh, how fast is a 99 miles per hour pass, it's a 13.7 pass. <laughs> I was like, what? 13.7? Man, if I had the traction, that would have been a very good pass for me that would have been the the perfect pass oh man i was so pissed when i found out that 99 99 was a a 13.7 ish Woo. the mileage was perfect for a 13 but no traction so uh very unfortunate for me <laughs> I beat the both of the Velocitors, so that that was <laughs> that was good enough for me. <laughs> uh, that was the only thing. The only good thing about the night was, you know, that uh, I won. I won the races, uh, fair and square. So hopefully, before the the year ends, uh, maybe I go again and, and and before the track closes for the year uh I'm, i go back and maybe do the 13 second pass that i've been hoping for so yeah uh thanks for being with me uh watching the video and being on this experience with me and i see you guys on the next video thanks have a wonderful day bye bye